What uh, we're going to be looking at is a system that is feeding us a uh, microscopic image from the University of uh, Southern California in Los Angeles. Uh, so what I've been doing is interfacing uh, digital cinema cameras built for Hollywood movies uh, to microscopes and then streaming them over long distance networks. You know, here's uh, some of the microorganisms that uh, we've captured in 4K. You know, if you're looking at a still photo in a book, it's a very different experience than seeing them in 4K, especially live and interacting with them. And university faculty and students on the one side of the university and high school teachers and students on the other side. At our school, we have a 4K TV and a computer set up for the students um, in our fab lab, which is where all the pilots have taken place. This high-impact, student-centered lesson changed the perspective, and this was key for me as an educator, for, from students saying, oh, why do I have to know this? What am I ever going to need this? To, wow, I didn't realize I could do this. So before I began working with Dr. Weinberg in USC, I had no clue that the way I comprehend um, biology and the environment would change forever. True educational conversations started to be sparked, and they continued to be sparked. I typically knew science to be step-by-step -step labs and lectures, which for me was boring. But this project allowed me to define my own learning, design an experiment that I absolutely loved, and work with a scientist and um, a scope that was over 1,800 miles away. So there's a, the larger cells that you see there are marine dinoflagellates. And then the smaller guys buzzing around, there's a, there's a couple different guys there. There's a, a haptophyte called Chromesium parvum and a little prey item uh, called Rhodomonas. And there's actually a Chromesium feeding on one of the Rhodomonas cells right here. I'll try to increase the medic here. From day one, this project had me engaged and involved. Whereas I took a biology class in the fall, I was asleep within the first hour. It was absolutely boring. We can really make a difference into kids loving, and even at older ages, younger ages, loving STEM subjects. And I think it's a key example of uh, why high-speed, low-latency networks are uh, exciting for education. We've opened a lot of eyes into how the technology, this gigabit access, um, helps us solve real-world problems and that it's accessible by all ages.